Hi, I'm Sarah Long. I am a Team Long coach. I coach all the female athletes on Team Long, and this is one of my women's physique competitors. Hi, um, I'm Yannika Desir. I'm one of the Team Long's athletes. Um, NPC competitor switching from bikini to women's physique and we're here to talk about my debut in women's physique at, for the Jack's Physique in about like a week. So Unique is a week and a half out. Um, I met her in September of last year. She had just competed in bikini. She had done um, a, the Dexter Jackson Classic bikini show in August in the ancient city in July and done very well. However, she had approached me wanting to make a switch and she didn't only want to uh, switch up one division into figure, but she wanted to go ahead and switch into women's physique. So we went ahead and got to work with Unika and um, started her off-season diet and training, which changed dramatically from what she was doing in bikini. Um, she had to eat a lot more food and lift a lot, <laughs> a lot more weight. Bikini was really fun for the Ancient City. I, I did very well, but when I went to the Dexter, I had lost five pounds. I was too lot. I was already too cut and too lean. That's when I realized that I could not survive in bikini because I had to stop lifting for about three months. And I enjoy weightlifting. I enjoy the challenge, the challenges of it. Um, and I started looking into women's physique. That's when I um, approached Sarah about it and see if I was even fit for it, if it's something that I could achieve. We got into that. I gained about 55 pounds during my bulking. It was a little hard and tough, but I did it. And now I'm ready to give it a chance. So yeah, Unika gained 55 pounds and it was not all straight muscle. And anyone who knows that goes through a, a, a very fast bulking um, period in an off season knows that sometimes a little bit of body fat does come along but if you're eating all clean food and you're training very heavy you always have to know uh, and be secure that you know that there's a lot of muscle being built underneath and so uh, I'm very excited for Unika because now she's been able to you know shed the extra body fat and she's left with all this beautiful muscle she'll be about 20 pounds heavier on stage and in better condition um, than she was in August which is is amazing I mean her Genetically, she's extremely blessed <laughs> for building muscle, and that's why I knew she could do women's physique and do it in this short period of time, was because I got to see how fast her body did blossom once we started feeding it more and training it differently. I'm originally from Haiti. I came here in 2004, that's nine years ago. And I, I haven't always been in fitness. I, I did some dance back home, and that's what really attracted me to women's physique because of the routine part, and you get to display your physique with your originality. And I'm hoping to put some of my culture into it as well. Um, I am, I wasn't always like this. I was when I got here. I got overexcited over the food and I, I went up to 200 pounds. Um, I started losing the weight and the more I was losing, the more motivated I am, the more I kept wondering if I keep pushing, how good am I going to look? And I fell in love with fitness as well, became a group instructor, first here in this gym, just fitness, that's when it all started, it was Gold's Gym back then. Um, then from teaching classes, I went to getting my personal training certifications, uh, sort of, and now I am a coach through Team Long, so I get to really get hands-on with our wonderful athletes, and thanks again to Sarah for allowing me to do that. Um, I'm very happy with what I'm doing right now. I get to hit all levels of fitness for now. I deal with different populations, but it's all for one common goal to get people into fitness and a healthier lifestyle. I chose her to be a Team Long coach because of her spirit and her um, ability to push and to motivate and to lead by example. She really, truly does um, 
you know, live by example. I feel like she is one of my hardest working athletes. She will do anything and everything I tell her to do and do it at the best of her ability. And I really, truly, uh, you know, love that so much about her. I feel like she, with the combination that she carries of, you know, these amazing genetics that she has and her her champion spirit and, and her work ethic and her discipline, I really do think that I feel like she's got, you know, the, the, the perfect package and and um, everything that it takes to be successful in this sport and in this business. Okay, so with Unika's um, training, the approach that I took with her uh, for the majority of her off-season, uh, leading into the beginning, probably four weeks of her contest prep, were uh, very, you know, a very heavy lifting, still some volume training. Uh, we didn't really go below six to eight reps because I feel like you, you, you know, we need to build this beautiful round muscle, so we do need the volume training. Um, but she did lift a lot, you know, a, a lot of weight. <laughs> she lifted very, very heavy. She really pushed herself. And uh, we didn't do a lot of supersetting or, or anything like that at the beginning. It was just um, solid heavy lifting. And we also incorporated a lot of the touch-up training. Uh, my husband, Don Long, kind of coined touch-up training. And he uses it on a lot of his athletes. And I use it a lot on a lot of my athletes. I use it on myself as well. Or he used it on me as well when he coached me. Um, and what it is, is it is uh, targeting the weak body parts of an individual. Um, and that maybe not weak as in, you know, they can't lift the weight with that body part, but weak as in on stage, that, that's a weakness to their physique. So what we do is we, um, we, we touch that body part every single day or almost every day. And it's not enough to overtrain it, it's just enough to stimulate the muscle um, every day and, and shape it the way we want it to be shaped. So, you know, with Unika, we, we brought up some of her, her weaker areas that way. Um, as the prep went along and the, the cardio was increased and the food was decreased and we needed to speed things up, um, we started incorporating more supersets uh, throughout the entire workout. And that's a lot of times when we'll actually let the touch-ups go and, and, and it's no, you know, we can't really build anymore and we don't try to, to build anymore at that point. Um, we kind of flip the switch and just go into just shredding the body up. Um, because then it would have been overtraining if we're trying to do too much on the body at that point. Um, so, so at that point, we, we did a lot of the, the superset training. That, that kicks in about eight to nine weeks out for her. Maybe 10 weeks out, we started that. And then now, um, you'll get to see today in the workout, she's doing triple sets, actually. So it's a, it's a drop set or a superset of a back movement. And then she goes into a lower half movement after that. So it's three exercises back to back to back. Then she takes her rest. And then she gets back under the weight and does it again. Um, the way we set this up is to initially have um, her still lifting heavy, so she still lifts as heavy as she can with the first the first uh, movement, then she either drops the weight or does a superset and hits the same body part that she's doing. That is going to detail that body part, and that is what you're getting to see right now in Unika's back, is that she's detailing it out. Um, we throw in the triple set, which is gonna be something for her lower half, and this is um, exactly what I do for the majority of my females because women have such a hard time getting the lower half in shape because, well, we're women and that's where we carry it. So she's going to be lunging or squatting or stepping up on something and squeezing her glutes as hard as she can. Um, it also keeps the heart rate up, it gets her sweating, and uh, that, that also helps in the lean down process. About the nutrition aspect of it, it was hard to put on the 55 pounds. I was eating a lot sometimes, up to eight meals a day, every two and a half hours. I would get tired of eating all that carbs, still clean carbs, um, but it was a lot of food. And now I'm at a point where we're cutting, and by cut, it's really cutting because now I would give anything to get a sweet potato right about now but we understand that we're trying to cut and it's more high protein and fat at this point. And I, it's, it's been an amazing journey. It's good to see how the carb cycling, me personally, that's what worked for me as far as bringing me down. Uh, aside from being an NPC competitor, I'm also a personal trainer and I'm a coach through Team Long for bodybuilding, bikini and figure. I'd like to thank my coach, Sarah, 
for everything, for really helping me get to this point right now. I don't know where I would be without her, really. She's amazing. I'd like to thank John for taking his time to come in and do the shoot for me today. I'd like to thank Chris, the manager here at Beach Boulevard for Just Fitness, for allowing us to use the facility for today. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, my supporters for supporting me and believing in me all up to this point. I'm looking forward to competing in about 10 days and there are a lot more comp competition to come. So stay tuned. If you wish to contact me, there's my Facebook page. You can find me under Unika Desir. It's E-U-N-I-K-A, last name is Desir, D-E-S-I-R. Or you can just email me at unika.desir at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to return your your emails or contact 